Greetings. This is Grandmaster Reginald Strauss, Sr., also known as Brother Teacher. I just wanted to um, let you know about the lesson. The lesson is what many martial artists and many practitioners don't seem to get sometimes. Not all of them, but many of them. For some reason, people start out in the martial arts and uh, they lose sight of what the real purpose is. It's okay to study the art of pugilism or martial science and feel good about yourself. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the lesson. Sitting behind me is one of many trophies that I received in competition over the years. First place grand champion trophy that I received many, many years ago it's good. It's a good thing to receive a trophy. And there have been many trophies that I've received that um, have fallen apart, broken up, gotten dusty, faded away, and so forth. They age, they wear out, and sometimes we just have no other choice but to throw them away. But after all is said and done, what was the lesson? I tell my students and uh, fellow teachers sometimes, from time to time, I should say, when you go to a martial arts competition or tournament, as it were, and you step on the floor, you display whatever your system or your style is in front of an audience, in front of judges, your peers, so forth, and you win an award, first, second, third place, and so on, sometimes you may not even receive an award. Maybe that particular day you just was not good enough. Maybe you were just simply not up to par. Maybe you were in a bad way that particular day. Didn't feel good. Whatever the reason was, at the end of it, what was the lesson? You may have participated in the kumite or sparring or senshao, if it's kung fu, and you may have lost to someone. They may have outpointed you, or you may have even done continuous sparring, or push hands, or what have you, and you didn't fare as well. My point is, sometimes you do win. Sometimes it's desirable, the result that is, and sometimes it's not desirable. Sometimes you lose. I have won many competitions in fighting and forms and weapons and breaking and so on and so forth over the years. And to my claim, I have also lost many sparring, uh, fighting, if you will, uh, forms and other categories or divisions. I've lost and I've won and I have no qualms about admitting that. You see, that's part of being human, being truthful with yourself. It is an act of uh, self-evaluation. It is supposed to be about humility, trying to find who it is that you are, really, on the inside. So what's the lesson at the end of the competition? What's the lesson when someone spanks you really good on the floor? That is the most important thing. It's not this pressed wood and this plastic or this metal trophy that sits beside me. That's not the award. That's not the reward. What's the lesson? So many people want to take stock in all of the awards that they received as a point to identify who they are as a human being or as a person or as a champion. That doesn't make you a champion. What's inside here is what makes you a champion. What are you really made of? Now, there have been many, many times in my losses in competition over the years, I've walked away and I've shook the hand of the person that I lost to out of humility and respect, and I walked away. But I took a lesson away from that. I say to myself, teacher, you need to train more. Or that person was uh, unorthodox, perhaps, maybe more unorthodox than yourself. That person was faster than you. That person used this particular methodology or methodology on you and sparring. Or that person, it was just their day to win. 
And I took a deep breath and I walk away. And I took it home with me, back to the dojang, the dojo, the kun, the school. I took it back with me and I worked on it. I did some self-evaluation. I didn't beat myself up. The only reason you can truly legitimately beat yourself up, I should say, is when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, when you're not training like you should be. But when you're doing everything that you know to do, when you're working on your syllabus, your foundational structure, all of the basics, all of the things that you're supposed to be working on from day to day, then you have nothing to be ashamed of when you step on the floor. You have everything to look forward to when you step on the floor because you're bringing your A game. So what's the lesson? At the end of the competition, if I know I've given it all that I had, and many times when I've done that, I walked away with a trophy just like this. And many times when I have not given it all I had based on what was going on in my life at the time, I just sucked it in. So my friends, stop defining yourself by your awards or rewards from a, excuse me, from a tournament or a competition. That does not define you, sir. You define yourself. I define myself. No one can define me but me. So the lesson that I always get at the end of a competition is always valuable. It's not, oh, I won this particular trophy or this medal or this plaque or what have you. That's not the lesson. That's a material thing that's going to fade away. But I will be here beyond that if it's God's will, I should say. So what's the lesson? Ask yourself that every day. What is the lesson? Do you get upset when you lose? It's okay to lose. Somehow or another in America, we have this thing, this ego issue, this pride that we can't lose. All it does is set you back, put you behind in the game. You see, people see humility when you possess it, when you truly possess it. And people see arrogance when you have that as well. Or when you think that you are better than someone else, when perhaps you may not even be. But why do you even carry that men mentality or that mindset? I'm greater than this other person. We're all the same. Some of us are a little bit more skilled than others, some less. But accept who you are and be satisfied, be happy enough be content with who you are because we all can't be number 10s. Some of us have to settle for a seven or eight, sometimes even a mediocre mark, a five. But be the best five that you can be. Be the best seven or eight that you can be. And if perhaps you are a 10, thank the creator above that he blessed you with a little bit more. But one thing's for sure, we're going to get old one day. And we won't be able to move as quickly as we did when we were younger. We won't have the flexibility that we did. Our health will decline a little bit. And we won't be exactly the same. So what's the lesson? The lesson rests here and here. And that's what really makes us have character, is the lesson. I hope that this benefit you. I hope that it benefited someone today. And I hope that you can read between the lines that it's not about this. It's about what you know and what you are. It's about character. And at the end of the day, that's the lesson. This is Brother Teacher. I'll see you in the next video. So long.